What does it mean to you after this time to be on the first academic All-America team and then to have it culminate in this honor tonight? Well, it's really the culmination of uh, a dream that a kid had to be a good athlete and to get a college education. I was really lucky. I've always been at the right place at the right time. And my high school football coach, Jim Blewett, I was a freshman. I think I plunked the B3 because I came from a very poor family. And uh, I knew I was going to have to get a job in order to go to college. And I was in a shops course. And Jim Blewett called me into his office. I was in spring practice. I flunked the B3. That's why I was in spring practice. And that was the 10th grade, by the way. And he said, Nunes, you want to play football for me? And I said, yes, sir. He said, well, you get yourself some an academic course. And I said, well, sir, I, I'm in a shops course, blah, blah, blah. He says, look, you keep doing what you're doing, you'll get a scholarship. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what a scholarship was. So I got the scholarship, and uh, when I got the call from Dick Enberg, it was such an exciting evening for me because uh, I thought about uh, Jim Blewett at that time. And when I got the call to get a scholarship to the University of Southern California, which was right in my backyard, I went to Manual Arts. I called my coach and I said, Coach, I just wanted to thank you uh, for getting me prepared for college football. And by the way, when I started playing football, I called him again and I said, yes, sir, thank you very much, because there's a huge difference between college football and high school football. We heard in the, in the video that you described your in injury as a fortunate accident. How were you able to avoid the, the what if? Reese, I was, uh, you know, I've always believed very strongly that something good comes out of something bad, and I, and I, and I believe that I've always been at the right place at the right, right time. I wanted to be a coach. And, uh, you know, I, 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 if, I, if I hadn't broken my neck, I probably would have gone on and been a coach. And I wound up being a coach with a great winning team. And I wound up my career being able to work for a wonderful guy by the name of Walt Disney, who was just the most wonderful guy in the world. In fact, uh, I, I was looking for a job, and uh, there were no jobs for coaches after I graduated. I was getting my master's degree, so I put in a, my application for a job for the summer, I thought, and I was walking through the halls, and uh, here's Walt. He said, uh, don't I know you, young man? I said, yes, sir. He said, what's your name? Dick Nunes, he said, oh yeah, you played football at USC. He said, what are you doing here? I said, well, sir, I'm in orientation training, but I do anything they ask me. <laughs> I saw George O'Leary here tonight, and, and you've been very active uh, with the UCF program and the growth there. How did you compare watching the success of UCF this year with, say, SC beating UCLA? Well, that's a tough question, but first let me say that I have a USC tie-on, and a UCF belt. <laughs> uh, seriously, um, uh, my family's here tonight, and um, um, they enjoy seeing every USC game, and I have tickets here at, obviously, UCF, and I enjoy every game. But you know something, you learn so much on the athletic field, and uh, the other great coach that I know is George O'Leary. And Baylor, we were underdogs by 17 points. I didn't make a bet. Gosh, I should have. But I didn't. You for, didn't hear that. I, I, I know it. <laughs> I, no, I did not make a bet. I, that's, for the, that's for the record. But seriously, coaches don't win games. Players do. And I honestly believe that that team got together and said, let's win one for the coach. And you know, it's the reason for it the coach came here 10 years ago. Our first year, we did not win a game. And last year, and this is really, really special because some of the athletes mentioned it, it's, it's more important to be a student than it is to be an athlete. But that team was ranked number 10 in the nation, but their graduation rate was number one out of the top 10. 83% of Coach O'Leary's students graduated, and six or eight of them with a master's degree 
That's what college football is all about. And certainly you epitomize that as well. Congratulations on this honor tonight, Dick. I appreciate it very much. Real pleasure Thank meeting you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.